This week's NXT featured the highly anticipated in-ring debut of Jordan Grace. Jordan defeating the arrogant Stevie Turner via juggernaut driver. Grace looking uber dominant in this match as she usually does. And the victory, the match length, was but a cup of coffee. Roxy would hit the ring post-match for a face-off, but Grace is talking that mad spank, so Perez shoves Grace. That was the first moment Roxanne realized Jordan is built like a three-story house, cause she barely moved. And the receipt shove from Jordan back to Perez knocked Perez square upside her wabakinator. Roxy goes for the Luthez press, but Grace turns it into a tilt-a-whirl power slam. Roxy somehow is able to escape, but it's clear Roxy is going to have to find the manual on how to deconstruct an entire house within a 30-minute time frame, because that's the obstacle that stands in Roxy's way. How can Perez defeat Grace? The simple answer is she can't. As a massive Roxanne Roxy Perez supporter, I'll be the first to admit, I just don't see a way. Grace is not just stacked like a house, but she's at the top of her game. But that's what makes this so interesting. Because Roxy has to win this match, right? There's no way that a TNA wrestler can waltz into an NXT PPVPLE and defeat an NXT champion. There's no way that can happen, right? Right? (laughs) We'll find out in just four nights. NXT Battleground, one of the most intriguing matches of the year thus far. TNA Knockout Champion, Jordan Grace, versus NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez, Rock C. Also on last night's show for NXT, Ethan Page would end the show in the main event segment with his NXT contract signing out there with Ava. Page was straight electric on the mic, even had Trick Williams fumbling his words for a minute. (laughs) That's how Ethan Page was on his game. Ethan says he's not there for the money. He could have stayed home and collected a paycheck for two years, but he's not about that. Some looked at that as a dig over to All Elite Wrestling. Ava does not want to sign off on this contract at first, as one of Paige's demands was his debut match to be Sunday at Battleground against Trick for the NXT Championship, something that obviously Ava does not feel he has earned. But Williams tells Ava to sign it, so he can quote, whoop that trick. I'm telling you now, Ethan Page is already a bona fide star. He was fire on that mic, conviction in his words, amplification in tone, believability in presentation, the look, posture, and presentation alone. He may no longer be all elite, but he is damn certain still all ego. And Ethan Page, from this point on, is going to be a massive star in this company. NXT is just the first step to WWE main roster championships, calling it now. And before we wrap up this upload, over to the main roster for a moment, where we put the focus on Tiffany Stratton. Stratton recently signing with one of the world's premier talent agencies, Paradigm. Paradigm, of course, very well known in the Hollywood world for taking their clients and injecting them straight into movies, television, big modeling gigs, everything and anything outside of the ring. They're going to put Tiffany Stratton in. On one hand, you're really happy for Tiffany. That is awesome, especially if you're a supporter of Stratton. On the other hand, you want to see her do really big things in the pro wrestling world. She's just scratching the surface of what she's capable of. And we're already talking about her doing everything and anything outside of the ring. So I hope they just kind of sprinkle it here and there. But Tiffany Stratton has so much talent and it's so natural. 
that I guess it wouldn't be too shocking if Tiffany Stratton leaves professional wrestling within the next two years. That would be a shame because, again, she's already a huge deal and a mega star in the business. And again, a lot of that is just natural talent. I guess the best way to put it is, did we even have Tiffy time yet? Are we going to have Tiffy time or is Hollywood just going to scoop her up with the quickness Paradigm is one of those agencies. They don't just sign anybody off the block. They do their due diligence and they only sign individuals they truly believe are going to hit those milestones and keep ascending the ladder to the next levels. And I'm sure they do not want her just to stay in pro wrestling for the next five years. We'll see how it pans out until next time. And there will be that next time. BC in the unit saying check you.